Yeah, I'm gonna. And I think so. We're gonna have um attack, dodge, um special, and actually some of these will be dodge will be a little bit simpler than the others, but. Just separate this up a bit of then public delegate. Uh burn event and then villager. I can't remember how to define delegates. Public Events Unity C sharp. Although Unity has its own events, right? So public delegate void on Really doesn't seem to like that line for some reason. Uh, okay, it's because it's like that. Villager, villager. Mm. On. What, you, how, what would you use to describe on turn choice, I guess? And then public event on turn choice on attack and then public event on turn choice on we'll leave it as attack for now. So events are kind of complicated, but basically that helps me define an event I've called on attack. And then down here, we'll say on attack, uh, but um, not really going to work. Now what I... So, as it wants to attack the other duelist, so what we would do once it's chosen the attack, it needs or chosen its turn, it then needs to just carry that out. So, Self, what it's going to do when they choose to an attack is at least an m dot set trigger attack. Very least, that's what we want to do. Uh, prefab villager animator attack. Yeah, so at very least it's going to set trigger to attack. And then on an attack to just um and then we're gonna have a public villager for now. Enemy clan. Village manager when it starts the jewel. And they start jewel function rather than just choose location. So it's going to be against duelist B. 
the location of minus five. And then again, start dual, dual list A and a position of five. Uh, trying to make it look nice and neat. There we go. And villager will have dual function. Internal void, dual villager, enemy, and int uh, target. There, and then we'll say enemy is equal to underscore enemy underscore target boost location underscore target like so right so we are then gonna have in the villager manager we're also Gonna assign references to event, I believe. Oh god, events are confusing. I can't remember what. Uh, I'm trying to think how this would work. No, so it would be. I need to get it to respond to being attacked. That's what I need to happen. So, ow, brain. So, when you attack, it will enemy. Well, enemies are on attack. We'll attack by for now, and then send this. I don't know if that's smart at all. Ah, my brain is, is dying slightly from doing this. Uh, internal void attacked by villager enemy. There's so many ways I could do this, I don't even know. Void. No internal. Void. Int. Roll. To class. We're gonna have as a thing. Elf. Set this all up manually for now. Public int. Cubic int, apparently. Public int armor class by default we'll say is 10 this diff is typical in DD so if enemy dot roll to hit is greater is, sorry is greater than armor class then uh health minus equals means basically remove subtract from health enemy dot damage roll Internal int damage roll. Uh, and then roll to hit is going to return unity engine dot random dot range between one and twenty. Back to debug dot log. We'll debug and show this so int to hit equal to that debug.log uh, where are we at there so we want pound dollar sign name rolled the hit to hit something like that 
and then return to hit. And damage roll is going to be int damage is equal to unity engine dot random dot range between this, make it a d6. Actually, it means I gotta do that. In fact, I also need to make that a one. Pretty much have the same there. Debug.log name rolled damage against this dot name. No. Ah. Difficult, difficult thing to figure out the context there. 